This is one of the world's most recognisable insects, and here are 10 things you probably didn't know about the praying mantis. Number 10. There are over 2,400 species. There are over 2,400 species of praying mantis that we know of, and there are probably still more to find as we delve deeper into undiscovered regions of the Amazonian rainforest. They are found in almost every temperate and tropical region of the world, with some notable exceptions like the UK, where I live. Number 9. Praying mantis don't live very long. Yes, the praying mantis lives around 4-6 to six months on average in the wild, some smaller species only managing one or two. In captivity, pet mantis usually live for about a year, with the giant Asian mantis managing 18-24 to 24 months if you're lucky, and can provide the perfect home for them. Number 8. Out of the 2400 plus species, almost all of them pretend to be something they're not, and would probably make brilliant politicians. Some use aggressive mimicry, and some use defensive mimicry. Some species have evolved to resemble their surroundings so well that it's almost impossible to see them until they strike. This mimicry, along with its patience and stealth, has brought the mantis great success as a natural hunter. Number 7. The Mantis Invented Kung Fu Well, that's not entirely true, but Mantis Kung Fu was developed probably during the Ming Dynasty, from watching the praying mantis movements and strategies. It was created by Wang Lang, and is an aggressive style of combat which utilises the mantis hook hand posture. There are many styles of Kung Fu based on the Praying Mantis, including the most popular 7 Star Praying Mantis. You may also find Plum Blossom Mantis and 6 Harmony Mantis, plus many more variations. If you really want to dig deeper, then you may want to find the movies The Deadly Mantis, or The Dance with the Drunk Mantis. For easy watching though, I suggest watching Kung Fu Panda, which is also based on Mantis Kung Fu. Number 6. Mantis are older than the T-Rex A recent fossil discovery of an extremely well preserved mantis dates the genus at around 110 million years. The fossil was found in northeastern Brazil and is considered the predecessor of the modern mantis. Finding an insect fossil is a very rare thing as they are so fragile that the perfect conditions need to arise for it to happen making this almost perfect fossil a very unexpected and welcome discovery, with the head, thorax, legs and wings all clearly visible. Feel free to smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next 10 things. Number 5. Mantis can see as well as humans One of the first features we notice when we look at a mantis is its huge bulbous eyes. In those compound eyes there are over 10,000 omitidia, with a small section of that having greater acuity than the rest which detects the slightest movements. It basically has stereo HD vision. The tiny black spot on the eye that resembles a pupil is just a trick. More light is absorbed in the amatidia that perceives the HD and reflected by the rest of the eye. This pseudo pupil also helps to give the mantis a character in our minds. Number 4. They only have one ear. Praying mantis have a single tympanic membrane on the underside of their metathorax, and most species are only capable of hearing ultrasounds that are not audible to the human ear. It is thought that the reason for this is to be able to dodge bats when flying at night. On hearing the sound of a bat, a mantis can suddenly pull upwards like a fighter jet, and then sideways before committing to a vertical dive, increasing speed as it goes and hopefully avoiding being eaten. Mantis are the only living creature known to have a single ear. Number 3. Mantis can get really big. The world record for a praying mantis was a Chinese mantis measuring a colossal 7.08 inches or 18 centimeters, and it was found in China in 1929. This species was accidentally introduced to the USA via the shipping ports in Philadelphia and has since made a successful living there, spreading throughout the country. Most of the larger species of mantis commonly reach 5 inches or more, and are a typical find throughout Asia. The giant African stick mantis has been recorded at a massive 6.7 inches. 
Number 2. Mantis Make Great Pets You may have never considered a mantis as a pet, but on the whole they do make for a fun and entertaining creature to have around, and it's no stranger than keeping a rat or a hamster. A mantis will happily allow you to handle it, feed it by hand, and even eat honey from a stick. The cost of keeping a mantis is extremely low, in fact it can even be free providing you have a houseplant that it can stay on or a corner of the room to hang out in. In summertime they make for great fly catchers and are more environmentally friendly than bug spray. Number 1. Mantis Don't Just Eat Bugs A praying mantis will happily take prey that is bigger than itself no matter what it is. They're fearless, patient and strong. There are many records of mantis taking down tarantulas, scorpions, lizards, mice, birds and some mantis have even learned how to fish. They don't however attack humans on purpose. They may indeed strike a threat pose if you annoy them enough, but attacking a human isn't on their to-do list. They are quite capable of gripping a stray finger if it gets in the way when feeding, and once they have you they will attempt to sink their jaws in. But don't panic, it is highly unlikely they would be able to break the skin, and they carry no diseases or venom. Don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe check out my other videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.